Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I, my name is Panda. Today we will be continuing with the monster inside. Last episode we left off on chapter 2, about to head into chapter 3. As you can see, I've already started up chapter 3, and this is the first line of text that's come up in chapter 3. So, I know that I said that the video would be up last night, but I did not get to make the video last night. So, um, I am making it now, and it'll be up tonight. I, it, it will actually be up t tonight. I was going to do it last night, but I did not get to do it. So, with all that said, I am going to play the rest of the game. I will probably either finish the game or get to chapter 5. It just all, it depends on how long the chapters are. If they're as long as they were last time, I will probably just play to chapter 5 or 6. Because there's only 7 chapters. But um, with all that said again, I will, can, I will continue with the monster inside. The next morning... I was really I was reeling from another bout of ghoulish nightmares. But I tried to hide my discomfort when I saw Lily was standing, sitting outside my office. She waited wordlessly as I unlocked the door and ripped down another notice from the mayor's office. I mentioned for her to step inside. Seemingly afraid of what I might say, she finally worked up the courage to ask. So did you find so what did you find? And in the last episode, I said we'd probably play like a, like a dark, well, not like dark, but brooding character. Kind of doesn't really care what he says. So out of all these, um, probably the second one. So not sure about these, but something unnatural is at play. Unnatural? How do you mean? Spells mark, rarely seen these days, but unmistakable. So what does that mean? What about Reggie? Do you know where he might be? Found his footprints. Seems like he got out safely. My tone was indifferent towards her as I turned and grabbed a bottle from my desk drawer. A dryness in my throat made it difficult to swallow my meds. But you don't know where he went? But you don't know where he went? Do you think the news this morning is related? What news is that? Haven't you heard? Nope. Rough night, followed by a rough morning. They found the police chief's wife dead by the docks. They say it happened last night. Let me guess, Chief Amato is missing too? My face might have betrayed a hint of, sar of satisfaction, but she confirmed my suspicion. But it faded quickly. Amato was a shit cop and a, sh a chief. He was half the reason I left the force. But now his wife is dead and I know, and I had more questions than I did the day before. The gears of my head started to spin, which wasn't helped by the splitting pain in my temples. I told Lily I need some time to, th to work. She left sil silently, dejected. I wanted more answers than I could provide. That night, after the cops cleared out of the docks, I would slip down and see what I could recover concerning Miss Amato's untimely demise. So now we're going into chapter four. The docks. The cold air smelled strongly of salt and oil. And could it be? That smell again, like someone had bottled pure arousal and used it as perfume. It hit me like a long forgotten memory. The sensual fumes soon gave a rush to my adrenaline. I knew exactly what the scent reminded me of. That scared me more than not knowing. I looked down at my hands, shaking, the nightmares, the headaches. No. It was better now. Reformed. 
had to focus. Don't no jumping to conclusions. Follow the evidence. As in every investigative scene, there are only two places to click. So we're gonna either let's go to the lamp first. There. Just there. The smallest piece of purple fabric torn and caught in the splinter of a board. The police report say anything. It didn't say anything about Samato wearing purple. And it was certainly of a quality quality that you wouldn't expect down here. You can see too many high society types, types around flaunting royal purple threads. And the only other place to click is the dock here. Red Phoenix cigarettes. Same brand I smoke every day. Everyone's got their vice. I pulled out my own pack of reds and lit up. I could, uh, I could already feel another headache coming on, but looking out over the waves seemed to help me forget. The cold helped me push down the uncomfortable thoughts that had been bubbling at the top of my brain. So these chapters are actually going a lot faster than the last, so I might actually finish the game and as we go on to chapter 5. I honestly don't remember the walk back to the office. Apparently I spent the night in my easy chair, the air from the docks lingering on my clothes. Oh, and um, I still don't know who it is. I don't really have any thoughts on who it is, but it's probably, but it's probably the detective or, or Lucy, that, that um, lady that keeps coming in. I, the, the first person that talked to you at the beginning of the game, it's either the, the detective or Lucy. And they're the only other two characters that we've been introduced to. You playing as the detective, and Lucy being the person that reported it. The every everybody else that we've been introduced to is dead, or we don't, or missing. So, it's it's either the detective or. Um, or Lucy, because I guess in the the game description, the uh, detective um, he had a illness, so it could be so something like that that's making him do these things. But we'll ha I guess we will have to play the game and find out at the end. It was still dark out. No, I checked the clock. How long had I been out? Had I really slept through the entire day? A newspaper was sitting under the door. As I stood to fetch it, I nearly fell over. A wave of nausea hit me like a ton of bricks. I steadied myself and regained my composure. Before I even picked up the paper, I could already read the headline. Breaking. Mayor missing. Wife found dead. Two cases of coincidence. Three is a pattern. The cops would come asking questions soon. They knew I had a history of antagonizing all the victims. I stumbled to my desk and slammed back these three days worth of inhibitor pills. Couldn't take any chances. I had to investigate the scene to be sure. I threw on my jacket and went to the door. Lily caught me off guard on the other side. Jack, where are you off to? I've been trying to reach you all day. I've just been busy. I'm off to Miss Vanetti's crime scene. Okay, but we need to talk when you get back. Stay safe. She gave me a soft kiss from the cheek as I rushed off. Part of me wanted to stay and tell her it would be okay. But it would be okay. But it would be a lie. On to chapter six. The alley was located just behind the high-rise apartments where Mary Vanetti and his wife lived. I, I could tell the police spooked around, spooked now. The crime scene was even sloppier than the last. They hadn't even bothered to spit the trash into evidence. And as in every um, 
one again. There's only two places to click, so either the car or the dumpster. That's the car first. Venetti's car. If he's still alive, why wouldn't he have me? Why would he have left in his car? It didn't make any sense. I honestly wasn't too motivated to find him. The stakes were too high. My bet was edging towards the unthinkable. So the only other place to click is the um is the dumpster. Why wouldn't they at least look through the dumpster? Seemed untouched. No one wants to do the dirty work. But I know how to find the good stuff. It really doesn't take long if you know what to, what to look for. Lightweight bags usually means something was someone was dumping documents. If you're lucky, they didn't bother to shred them. Jackpot. Shell companies, shady stock trades, bribes. I knew Ve Mayor Benetti was crooked. This was unbelievable. And there was more. Letters between Mayor Venetti and Chief Amato talking about me. How they were trying to shut me down. They didn't like me snooping around crime scenes all, all the time. Well, they weren't here to stop me snooping around this. As I searched around for anything that caught my massage, my, that assaged my fears, I caught the scent again. It would overwhelm my other senses with undiluting pleasure. It was intoxicating. A weapon used on the weak willed. A weapon I had knew all too well. Though it had been many years since I had used it. Was there another like me? Was I being framed? It wasn't possible, was it? I was taking my inhibitors, I was reformed. The nightmares, the headaches, the memory lapses. I couldn't even trust myself. I started walking back out the alley when something shiny caught my eye. A watch. Not just any watch though. My watch. How long had my wrist been bare? Surely I had just dropped it. When I came down the alley, I checked the time before I left the office at night. Or had I used the wall clock? I couldn't be sure. I couldn't be sure of anything. So I ran. So that moment right there just adds more to thinking that the detective is the killer with him blacking out. But what is... What is he? Because he said he might not be the only one like him. So we have to find that out. So that was the end of chapter 6, and I guess we're going to finish the game in chapter 7. This, this is chapter 7. I don't know why I ran back to the office. The cops would probably show up any minute to knock my door down and cart me away. I wouldn't put it together before long. Maybe it would be the best for everyone if I simply faced my own reflection. But Lily was still there waiting for me. Jack, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. My own ghost. Come back to haunt me from the past. You're not making any sense, Jack. Come sit down. You don't understand. You're not safe around me. I took, a, I took a good last look at her as I prepared to shove her out in the door. I noticed she was wearing the same thing that she had when she first came into my office three days ago. A beautiful purple dress. Odd, I hadn't really noticed before, but I made her seem out of place, out of time. And I was, it was frayed around the edges, torn in places. My chair caught as I fell. My knees failed me. It was you. You are the monster. Succubus. Oh, Jack. They are one and the same. You and I. They are both monsters. Simply more honest with myself. 
There's so much as reform as reformation. Those pills you take only make you dull. Beasts like us should never suppress our true natures as you have incubus. Those men were probably those men were probably dead now, I figured. She probably took them to her lair and harvested their seed. So, you've done all this just to wake me up. You could say that, though it seemed enough just to have you doubt yourself. You believe you're still capable of such horrors, which means deep down, you probably are. You can't escape it now. Now I need you to complete the deed. You took my watch, messed my head. Oh, don't act like I didn't do you a favor. Those men hated you and wanted you gone. And now they are gone. I mustered the strength to stand again, moving casually to the window by the corner. She was right about one thing. I was dull, weak, compared to her. If I refused her and she attacked me, I was a dead man. I had to keep her talking. I've never met su I've never met an succubus who succeeds and kills women. Seduces. Oh please. Such a 14th century stereotype. I don't discriminate when it comes to the pleasures of the flesh. But I still need an incubus like yourself to take the tainted seed I've harvested from those awful men and plant it among the fertile mass masses for me. I'm tired of my of draining my lovers just to survive. I'm ready to settle down and start a family. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That mechanical laughter. I positioned myself carefully, making sure she was looking my direction. Sorry, but I'm not your guy. The quick, with a quick flick of my wrist, I whipped the old bedsheet off the corner in the mirror. Lily was blinded by her own reflection and sucked into the mirror with a painful, mon monstrous scream, trapped. Shielding my own eyes, I pulled a revolver from my desk's so eye drawer, aimed it at the mirror, and fired. So that's why he had the sheet over the mirror, to keep it from sucking him in, or anyone else. And so, I was wrong. I thought it was the detective that was going to be the killer, and I didn't expect to be the succubus, Li Lily to be the succubus, or him, or the detec or detective Jack to uh, be an incubus. It said that they were going to be beasts, lurking beasts, and magic in this game, but I didn't think it was going to be like that. So, this is the end of the game. That's all there was. So, I will be uploading another video soon. Um, I do not know what game I will play, but I will find it or leave. Well, if you have any suggestions about future games I should play, leave them in the comments below. I will look through them. And the game I like, um, I guess I will give a shout out to whoever's game I pick but um until then that's the end of the video and I will see you in the next video I upload